If you're a true Ace Attorney fan, you'll recognize this exchange. <gasps> Nick, look! A ladder! That's a step ladder. So? What's the difference? I... I... Uh, you need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right. Sorry. This girl is out there. Has this ever happened to you? Wait, what? You're talking to your friend of, like, a couple weeks, and you accidentally start a decades-long internet argument that gets a Steam achievement named after it? I can't say that I have? Worry not! I can settle it all for you! Oh, no! How'd you get in here? I'm everywhere and nowhere. This is a world of my creation. Your free will is an illusion. But anyway, we need to talk. <laughs> to them, it was a simple conversation about ladders. But little did Phoenix Wright and Maya Fey know that this brief dispute would balloon into one of the longest running gags and longest running debates in all of Ace Attorney history. Every game in the series is referenced in some way. This isn't even the start of the amount of fan art it's gotten. And here's the crazy part, it's not even remotely settled. When I polled this question with my audience at the start of 2023, the two sides came up with a practically even split. Maya is right, says Shadow759. Phoenix is right, and anyone who thinks otherwise is stupid and objectively wrong, says Diphenoid. Hot take, both, says Faithful Film. Well, a split it shall be no longer. By breaking down this little conversation line by line, I think we can clear up every mystery and finally reveal, once and for all, which team is truly right. Team Step Ladder or Team Ladder? Okay, that's great. C could you do this somewhere else? I already conceded this. But was that because you agreed about the ladder? Or was it just because you wanted the ladder conversation to be over? Dear God, the ladder. It's the ladder! After all, in the very next game, you and Maya have this exact same argument again. Ah, a ladder. It's just a step ladder. What's the difference? They do the same thing, right? I think you should stick with the basic facts of the matter. Oh, uh, okay. It's not even worth arguing with her on this one. I'd hardly call that a sign of a changed position. And on that note, we can use this second conversation to clear up the first, arguably most crucial question of this whole debate. What is this? Some people have said that Maya is correct because the object in question isn't even a stepladder at all. After all, unlike a rung ladder, often referred to as just ladder, a stepladder is defined as having a set of rear rails so it can support itself without being propped up against a wall, for instance. And it's hard to tell if this ladder has rear rails from the existing art. It does kind of look like this angle here is indicating back legs, but in this other image of the same ladder, we can see there are clearly no rear rails. Unless you want to assume the backside is clipped through the wall, which you can use to get out of bounds and wrong warp to Studio 2. But then, in the anime, the ladder isn't propped up against the wall, and the rear rails are blatantly visible? Ugh, why couldn't they be the least bit consistent? Just because the backgrounds were drawn for a Game Boy screen and not designed to be scrutinized at this resolution? Capcom, more like Cap cop out, we should sue. So let's just assume, all due respect to anyone who might cite this picture, we can't rely on the official art to provide an answer to this question. Luckily for us though, there's a different question we can ask. Does Phoenix Wright know a stepladder when he sees one? And looking at that second conversation again, no ambiguity here. The rear rails are plain to see. That's a stepladder. And if that's enough to conclude that yes, Phoenix knows what a stepladder is, then I think we can safely conclude that this is a stepladder too. Also, just, I feel like I should address this real quick because there's a disappointingly large group of people who believe this. Ladder versus stepladder has nothing to do with the ladder people saying that an object like this isn't a stepladder. That was never the issue. Please stop making objection.lol videos where someone shows a picture of a stepladder and half the characters are like, No, that's not a stepladder, that's a ladder! You monkey brain people! So if Phoenix isn't wrong to call it a stepladder, let's address the reverse. <laughs> Is Maya wrong to call it? A ladder. <coughs> Ow. To answer, I have an analogy for you. And before we start, get ready, because this is going to sound like it's out of fucking nowhere. Seriously, th this is you and me right now. I, I promise this will be way more relevant than it sounds at first. You okay? You ready? Okay. So trans women are women, right? What does that mean? 
Okay, so I understand without context, this is a baffling thing for me to bring up. So again, I promise you'll agree I'm not just pulling this out of my ass by the end of the video. I'm actually more confident that you'll agree about that than you will about the conclusion of my argument. So just give me the next 45 seconds to explain. So the phrase trans women are women is ultimately making a semantic argument relating to language and logic. To skip over some unrelated parts of that discussion, the relevant definition of woman is something along the lines of a member of the female gender identity. And trans woman, likewise, means a member of the female gender identity who was not born into the female biological sex. So, the argument goes, the common denominator of these two terms is woman. Woman is acting as an umbrella term. The subordinate terms, cisgender woman and transgender woman, are referring to two different kinds of woman. So even if we sometimes use the more specific term, it's not wrong to just use woman to refer to a trans woman. And with all that in place, now we can just swap some words around and aha! You thought I was trying to use stepladders to sell you on trans rights, but it was the other way around! Most of you ace attorney people are some kind of gay already! The point being that the semantic logic applies here in exactly the same way. Since ladder is an umbrella term, it encompasses both the more common rung ladder and the often distinguished step ladder. And since this ladder is the only ladder of any kind present in this room, it's not incorrect or even insufficiently specific to use the umbrella term for it. I'm afraid Maya isn't explicitly wrong either. So if Phoenix and Maya both aren't wrong, then I guess they're both right, like Faithful Phil said. Done deal. Good work, everyone. But you see how much time we still have left, don't you? No, no. If it were that simple, this would have been settled a long time ago. After all, just because both terms apply, that doesn't mean Phoenix and Maya are both equally right, does it? What about this group of people saying Phoenix is more right? That's almost everyone who voted for him. And that's not all. I haven't broken down the whole conversation line by line yet. What does this last part mean? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Look how confused people get when they see this line. You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. <laughs> what? What? I feel there's a joke here, and I didn't get it. Wow. Maya, you're killing my boner. <laughs> what were all those well-adjusted people missing? Let's go one step further and tie everything together. For Phoenix to be more correct than Maya, the reasoning is fairly simple. A stepladder is a ladder. But if you call it a stepladder, you're being more specific and therefore more accurate. Therefore, Phoenix is more correct. Right? No! In a vacuum, maybe. But the context in which this distinction is made changes its value. When they find the mystery item, Maya first accurately identifies it as a ladder. Then, crucially, Phoenix corrects her with the more specific term. And in correcting her use of the umbrella term, it implies an explicit inaccuracy on Maya's part which does not exist. And here's how that trans analogy from before plays in. Because with what I just said in mind, imagine we swap in that other umbrella term. <gasps> Nick! Look! A woman! That's a trans woman. Ooh, suddenly the vibes become very iffy, hasn't it? Sounds a little bit like now. what some might call a narrow-minded cultural assumption. See, that wasn't just some flippant comment to throw him off. She understood the implications of his correction the second he made it. It's exclusionary undertone, the extension of the logic toward other cultural attitudes, the judgment brought on by those attitudes. She was 10 steps ahead of us the whole time. All of us, she saw the goddamn matrix. And for noticing and pointing this out, Maya and Team Ladder come out on top as the clear and rightful winners of Ladder vs. Step Ladder. <laughs> So, pretty good, right? Wow. Yeah, that's totally what I meant the whole time. I don't know about you, Nick, but I'd call that time well spent. Okay, great. Maya wins. Can you please leave so we can investigate? Not yet. For fun, here's a lightning round of every other argument. All three of Phoenix and Maya's debates go the same way. Maya wins all three. In Rise from the Ashes, Emma Sky identifies this as a ladder, and Phoenix corrects her, prompting the same what's the difference question. Emma wins. In Bridge to the Turnabout, Detective Gumshoe identifies this as a ladder, is corrected by Phoenix, and asks what's the difference. This is only a partial victory for Gumshoe, though, because he then tries to argue lettuce and cabbage are the same thing. In Turnabout Corner, Apollo Justice calls this a folding ladder, and is corrected to Step Ladder by Trucy Wright. Folding Ladder isn't even less specific than Step Ladder this time, so Apollo soundly wins. In the 
the monstrous turnabout, Athena Sykes calls this a stepladder, and then goes so far as to say it's not a ladder when correcting Apollo's use of the word. Another sound win for Apollo. In Turnabout Ablaze, Edgeworth identifies this as a ladder and is corrected by Kay. Edgeworth says they're the exact same thing, not exactly true, and then Kay says from their structure up, they're totally different, also not exactly true. These two are just both wrong. And for non-stepladder examples, in the stolen Turnabout, Maya identifies this as a hearth, but Phoenix corrects her, calling it a fireplace. A hearth refers to the stone floor surrounding a fireplace, not the fireplace itself. So while we can't fully see if a hearth is present or not, we'll assume there is no hearth and give the point to Phoenix. The correction was warranted. In the imprisoned turnabout, Kay calls this a cage, which Edgeworth corrects to prison cell. Prison cells are rooms, not cages. So Edgeworth's actively wrong here. Point to Kay. In the great ace attorney, Naruhodo and Susato argue over whether a spade or a shovel is for scooping up loose material. Susato is correct. Spades are for digging and shovels are for scooping up loose material. This one's not really as much of a semantics thing though, but it is a matter of dictionary. Whoa, whoa, hey! hey! Hey, 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 hey! Uh-huh, sword loser. You talk of this to no one, got it? Also, was it just me, or w was that my voice? It was, yeah. All right, a couple final things I wanted to go through that I didn't have a good place for in the video proper. First up, I want to mention, the cursory research I did seems to point to my logic here being equally valid in the Japanese translation. Even though over there the word for stepladder, kyatatsu, is a completely different word from ladder, hashigo, stepladder still seemed to be considered a type of ladder, as far as I could glean. Obviously that's with the asterisk that I, I don't know Japanese, so I can't make that claim with complete confidence. Next, as a little aside, one of the reasons I did that poll back at the beginning of the year, Jesus fucking Christ. Christ, this video's taking forever. One of the reasons I did that poll at the beginning of the year was to see if anybody would come up with the answer I was gonna argue in this video. One person got it. Michelle Rojas. Well done. Just wanted to give you a shout out. You're based. Speaking of based, uh... <laughs> I hope I did a respectful job with the whole trans women or women tangent. I realized that it might feel like a shoehorned in topic, which is why I made fun of myself for it in the video proper. But I do legitimately think that the cultural assumptions line was meant to frame Maya as being like politically conscious in that blindsiding way some people are. And I think the trans rights analogy is the best way to explain how that non sequitur makes sense. So yeah, I hope it was respectful. I hope that me being like, a member of the community in question can back up that I'm trying to use the topic in good faith here. And hopefully, if you didn't already understand what people meant when they say trans women are women, now you do. Y'all behave yourselves now. And final topic, as for me, I want to announce that I've started a Patreon. Supporting me over there would enable me to put more time and financial resources into projects like this, which should hopefully result in faster turnaround. And in exchange, you can get things like frequent progress updates, exclusive downloads of character rigs, sets, and stills, early releases, your name appearing in the credits, voice commissions. So please consider checking it out. And on a related note, Paula, the creator of the 2D animated videos that appear on this channel, has opened her own separate Patreon for her animation work. She's been posting some behind the scenes stuff along with the newest pages of her Breakfast Killed comic, so if you're interested in checking that out, the link will be in the description right next to mine. And that's the video, thanks for watching! Thanks especially to Bedhead for playing Maya as always, and also thanks to the various people whose names or art I used in this video. Uh, check out the description for a full list with links, and I'll see you around!